Hi everyone, my name is Diego and in today's tutorial we're going to go over how to launch an ad so that you can bring traffic or leads to your WhatsApp business. And so we're going to get right to it. And so the way you launch a WhatsApp ad, you launch it just like you're launching an ad on your ads manager. So the first thing you want to do is go to your business manager, go and open your ads manager, and then you're going to launch a campaign just like you're launching a normal ad on Facebook, right? Currently, WhatsApp works with three objectives, conversions, traffic, and also messages. From my experience, what has worked the best is really using messages. And so conversions don't work that well just because you can't really convert at your WhatsApp, right? Currently, I can't do sales on my WhatsApp. And also traffic, you're bringing just traffic to your site versus messages, you're actually optimizing your campaigns with messages. And so the first thing you're gonna do is messages and you're gonna select that campaign objective. I'm gonna change this uh, to WhatsApp ad demo. Uh, we're not gonna go over split testing or campaign budget optimization for this demo, but we're gonna go to continue and go to the asset level. And at the asset level, you're basically, it's gonna give you as default messenger for your placement of the ad, right? Or, or where you wanna direct the traffic. In this case, I actually wanna have Facebook business. And this is gonna ask me to add your Facebook fan page. And so if you've connected your Facebook fan page to your WhatsApp business, and this is something that you have to do before you do this, if you haven't, there's actually a, a video tutorial on my channel where that you can check as well and learn how to connect both but you need to have those in place and so this is our number that we use for mark echo for our whatsapp business for launching ads and for for like our groups and a bunch of things that we do so you want to select the the fan page that you're going to be using for your ads you can select your audience just like you're using any audience right I, so i can use saved audiences i can use custom audiences i can even build one here so Let's say I want to target people in Canada as well. And we're going to target people, um, you know, digital marketing. Something related with digital marketing because we're going to be selling our course uh, in WhatsApp. And so I have close to 19 million people who are in those two countries that I can target. And you can play around with this. We're not going to go into details as well, but you can do anything that you want. You can use custom audiences. So people that have you you know viewed videos who have gone to your Facebook and you've pixeled them um, with offline events, people who have interacted with your fan page, Instagram account. There's a bunch of things that you can do with custom audiences and lookalike audiences as well. You can also select placement, and so by default, Facebook is going to show this these type of ads on Facebook and Instagram only, right? It doesn't work right now with audience network and messenger, but you can customize this as well as much as you want to. Um, with the current placements, you can also select mobile devices and a bunch of other things. And last, budget and schedule, right? So by default, Facebook is gonna optimize your delivery for conversions, right? Which in, in this case, the conversions are conversations that you're holding or that you're gonna start on your WhatsApp. This is something important because you can't optimize this just like any other campaigns where you're doing impressions, for example, or you're doing reach. Here, you're optimizing solely on conversations. And so this is a big difference from the other objectives as well. And this is something that we've seen that works the best as well. The other thing is that unlike a lot of the ads, you can't really do cost control, right? So you can only do bid control and there's a huge difference between both. Cost control is how much am I willing to pay for that conversion or action? Bid control is basically how much am I willing to bid for that conversion? And those are two very different things. And it's something that you have to be careful with, right? Because this is not a cost control. It's a bid control uh, and, it's, and it's a little different. So we're gonna leave that blank for now. But you can also set up daily and lifetime budget. So do I wanna spend $5? Do I wanna spend 10? Or do I wanna spend a budget, you know, based on a specific timeline? So from like today up to like a month, I'm gonna spend $100, right? So I'm gonna give $100 to Facebook to spend from the 26th to the 26th. 
So a period of one month to bring traffic to my WhatsApp. I can run the ad here all time or on a schedule so specific days. And I'm gonna go with all the time for now. We're gonna go with continue. And this is where you basically do your creative and you do a couple of changes that are pretty cool with WhatsApp because you can change menus, you can do a bunch of different things. But one is it's gonna select your fan page by default because we've selected that on your ad set level, your Instagram account, and then you can do a carousel or you can do a single image. And so with single image, um, we're gonna add a video. So I've up uploaded videos already. So I'm gonna select this one for now. And we're gonna be using this video for our current um, ad, for for the current ad that we're that we're using, right? I can use a different video for Instagram. So let's say for Instagram, I'm gonna actually be using this one, and this is something that you want to do to optimize your campaigns, right? So I want to use a specific format for Facebook and a different one for Instagram, or the same, but it depends, right? So these are best practices that even Facebook gives you, right? So up to 15 seconds or less vertical four by five full screen vertical full screen horizontal and so it already gives you like best practices of the things that you need for your campaigns and for the sizes of your images or your videos right so this is something that works not just for whatsapp ads but also for your facebook video ads and anything that you're doing so the other thing that you're going to be doing is the same thing as a, a normal ad right and if you see it has like less options because by default you're bringing this to messenger so your call to action is different you you can't really optimize that and change it just like other ads but i'm going to do header so join our course for example uh, this could be if i'm targeting or helping doctors if i'm helping um businesses agencies like i can bring people you know directly to the chat so it doesn't have to be joining a course talk to the doctor for example um you know schedule an appointment you can do anything that you want here primary text uh hey digital marketers join our course so if you see like it's gonna change the text at the top of your course just like any other ones in description as well um let's say price point and i can add a price here so that's going to change the format of the ad so that you have a title, you have a description, and you have a small description here as well. And those are the things that you can change here. The other cool thing that you can do is that you can actually change the initial message that you want customers to send you, right? So you want to give them options because you, you don't want to have – before it used to say like, well, you know, this conversation came from this specific post or ad, but there wasn't a – customized way for people to actually select questions or text that they can send you and so now you can do this if you go to create uh, you can change this right so i'm interested can you tell me more how much does it cost where is it located i can add more things uh, i can say uh, what is the website for example and so this is a little slow but it should show me where is the website and add me or add that option here so when the person clicks on the ad, it's gonna show those options as well. So I'm gonna save this and finish it. And I'm gonna save that as a template so I can use that uh, for other ads as well. And so this is what the user or the customer will see. So once you launch your ad, you know they're gonna see this, whatever you configure here. Once they click on the send message, it's gonna open basically this menu right here of options that they're going to click and actually send them to whatsapp uh, if i want a facebook pixel offline events and if i want to customize url or for your utm parameters to track your ads in this case we don't won't need this just because we're sending people to whatsapp so there's no need to do that and i basically confirm and that's a pretty easy way to launch ads to whatsapp uh, from our experience it has helped and works pretty well for clinics for generating leads basically if you're in real estate as well it's a good way to have direct contact with people instead of them just submitting a form you can start chatting with them immediately you have their phone number as well so you can start talking to them and that's key i think and so that's a pretty easy way for you to 
launch your first WhatsApp app. The other thing, um, make sure you actually use our, we have a lot of free resources. And so if you go to our WhatsApp Ultimate Guide, this is a free guide that you can download and I'm gonna leave the link below as well uh, to learn how to use WhatsApp Business for yourself. And we'll have, um, I'm gonna leave this as well, but we actually have a lot of tutorials that we've recorded before um, but you can also check on our YouTube channel make sure you subscribe by the way, but you can also go to this site. I'll leave the link below, but you can see a lot of tutorials where you can actually learn, you know, how to use, um, automate messages. So once people respond and click on the ad, what type of automations can you do? Like differences between WhatsApp and WhatsApp business this is something that we get asked a ton as well, how to integrate your WhatsApp business with Facebook. And so these are all different things that you can use for your business and just leverage, you know, the knowledge so that you can actually increase the results that you're getting from your campaigns as well. So hopefully that helped. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, if you have questions, ask below. Join our Facebook group as well. It's free. You have a big community. There are 3,000 people asking questions, um, giving best practices tips as well on, on launching ads, on using WhatsApp business, on the struggles that they're having as well. Make sure you, you know, join and use our content. Follow us on YouTube and thanks for listening, guys. See you next time.